fucking idiots. Today, we have something very special. We have Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but not just Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Let me set up my lighting real quick. I didn't come prepared, fuck. I'm sorry, I didn't come prepared. Actually, I should probably turn my vibration off. Bluetooth off. Please, everything off. Go fuck yourself. Alright, so I'm going to be streaming until about 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. So. I'm very excited to play this. Very, very excited to get into this. This should be a uh, pretty enjoyable experience. If I can get my soft light set up right, which is just a glasses cleaner but my phone's flashlight we can start but hey did you also know my camera's messed up did you also know um i don't know what i was getting at but anyways we're gonna start this now and i've heard the music for this for some of the tracks on here they're pretty pretty fucking spectacular Listen to that. Listen to that. Listen to that. Are you listening to that? Because it's fucking gorgeous. Oh, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get into this new shit. This new shit from Isle of Soft just released like an hour and a half ago. So we're going to play it on normal, of course, because I'm not a fucking faggot. I'm not some normie little bitch. Alright, and look at that loading icon. That's so cool. That's Jin's mask. That's Jin's mask. That's so cool. Alright, what's up, Nintendo? The year was 3,564. Debatable, but The 107th Indoline Praetor, Rodalis, had sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight sank beneath the clouds along with the rest of the titan the destruction of sia shocked all the nations of all rest officially the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by indol and the emerging power of more ardain in fact it had been the work of one blade the aegis a man known as melos said to be the architect's word incarnate Back then, neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. You're that eager to die? Then allow me to assist! My man Tetsuya up there. Love that man. It's a beautiful man. Love him. Love him, love him, love him. He's made tons of great games. This is beautiful. What the fuck? Fucking knee, did you see that shit? It's that fucking knee of justice. There's no end to them. And it's not just the Vulcan Ferris. Even the Balufa is caught up in it. Laura, can you smell it? Yeah, no doubt about it. Blood. Yo, the battle music. This shit is clean. Alright, follow my lead. They'll live to regret this. 
the area auto attack hit your hard gauge with the slightest called R3 charge. With the gauge full, press the corresponding button to use the hard. Alright, yeah, yeah. Team of composed is a driver of uh, what? The team is composed of a driver and their blades. The level, EXP, HP, strength, F Ether, agility, dexterity, and luck stats are all common to all members of the team. Vanguard and rear guard positions. Okay, this is new. This is new territory. This is what we don't know. Because normally you'd have to pick between three blades, but I guess in here you pick between your blade and your drive. That's interesting. Split between Vanguard and rear guard positions. The character in Vanguard is the attacker while the rear guard plays the support. You as the player directly control the Vanguard. Rear guard will attack and provide pumps automatically. Oh. Alright, let me get this money real quick. Let's get this money. When you receive an attack, the damage you took will be displayed as a red. Okay. Forming Vanguard switches whenever you can and keep your HP high is the key to victory. When the team's HP reaches zero, they'll be incapacitated. If you can't continue the fight, you'll be returned to the last landmark you pass without any further penalties. How do we... You can't switch to the main guard, though. Uh, okay. So now let's try switching to the main guard. Main guard switch. The rear guard will move to trade places with the main guard while attaching. Their switch art. What? That's crazy. So, so when you switch, they already do an attack. After the switch, the new Vanguard's art gauges will be full, be ready, ready to be used immediately. So using a Vanguard switch is a good way to press an attack. You'll answer to me. Okay, so that's a back attack. Each day. Special all the way before, beyond level 1, okay, whereas level 1 can be Vanguard attack alone, level 2, 3, and 4 are real team efforts. First, here's three special gauge top ups so you can try to get level 4 special and fire, or into coordination. Okay, cool. I mean, I already earned it, but whatever. 
button challenge will pop up on the screen. Press the right button at the right time as instructed, and the moves effect will be magnified. I need your help here again. Like how the music, the music just synced up perfectly. That was epic. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you, Jim. Well. Got room for improvement. Of what? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What? You won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe always. I'll keep you safe always. Damn. And that's in the original game. You, you still remember that? I've thought about it. Every day for these 17 years. Hmm, okay. So she's I'll at least like fucking it. 20. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. The feature that the arrow is pointing to right now is the compass. The markers on it show where Laura and her friends should go next. The number above each marker gives the distance to that objective. Also, if the objective is located above or below you, you'll see an arrow pointing up or down. Now the arrow is pointing to the environmental info. This gives you the name of your current area. No, not really, but okay. As well as the weather and the time. That's the mini-map. Gives you, gives you an idea of what's around you. Pressing L lets you change its zoom and size, and the mark in the center shows your position and facing. Lastly, your, cur your current objective window. This explains what Laura and company should be doing right now. Now, a piece of important advice. Did you see that notification that said new tips have been added? In this game, you can check previous tutorials from the menu. This notification just now was able to tell you that new options have been added to the menu. If you run into something you're unsure of while playing, go to main menu system tips to see if it's been explained there. Okay, now we're playing the fucking game. Yo. Yo, Lord. Or Jen's got some fucking hops, dude. Look at this. Look at that shit, dude. Look at this. Jen Jordan over here, man. Fuck. Let's climb this. Oh! My inner Xenoblade X is being channeled. Fuck. I had it. I had it. I know I can do this. Come on. I can do this. Oh, you cunt. Come on. Come on. You fucking bitch. Alright. Let's go back to the fucking beginning. This looks really pretty, though. Holy shit. I never thought I'd want trees in a Xenoblade game. Fucking Christ, I didn't jump. But yo, this shit is sick. This is actually like really fucking beautiful. When I say trees, I mean like regular sized trees. Yo, I can go up here. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Let's see what we can. Okay, so we can go up here. Is that an invisible wall right there? Are you fucking kidding me? What is on my leg right now? Shit hurts like a bitch. Also, this music. Come on. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Let me get up there. Oh, you bitch. Wait, but wait, but wait. 
me. Or Peter. Or Peter. Dude, that's not a really special feat considering we could have just gone over there. You know what? Look. Look at these. Look at this. Look at this forest. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen like an actual forest in a Xenoblade game, and I never knew I wanted one until now. So thank you, Tetsuya Takahashi. You are fucking god. Masahiro Sakurai, eat your fucking heart out, dude. But sorry, a woodland where you are right now is a special kind of area known as a landmark. All rest features three kinds of areas: locations, landmarks, and secret areas. You can instantly travel to any previously discovered landmark or secret area from the skip travel menu. Found in the main menu. Cool. Huh. I want to fight that thing. Take Fuck. the initiative. Leave it to Laura. Don't refer to yourself in the third person, please. It makes me very uncomfortable. Okay, can we just not hit that thing? No, we can't. It's not worth it. Like, this shit looks beautiful. Oh my god. We must. I died. Let this stop us. We'll need to take a different approach this time. Here we go. Fight this guy first Leave and then we'll fight that other guy. It's music. And keep coming. What's up, Jewel? How you doing, man? Time for one last push. Wildfire snap. So let's see what the that's pretty that's pretty. What is that? Is that is that that one blade quest shit from the original game? Oh, what's the deal? Look at that. Team Laura. Nice. Alright. That's not it. Well, what can we do here? Increase agility. Fuck it, let's do that. Yeah, it must sounds have good. Improved. I'm always moody. Well, come play Xenoblade with me, dude. It'll be alright. I'm gonna be streaming for like... I don't even know what time it is. Fuck. I'll be streaming for about another two hours. If you just wanna hang out, that's cool. We can talk. Play Xenoblade, you know. But yeah, man. This shit just came out. What is all this? Spindle step. Okay, so that's just damage. Uh, that's also damage. Uh, oh, wait, that's for. Wait, what? No. Oh, that's the switch art. That's right, I remember now. Okay. Spider-Man keep me happy. That's good. That's good. Spider-Man keeps a lot of people happy. I don't currently have Spider-Man yet. I know everybody's playing it on Switch right now. But, hmm, that's whatever. I've been looking forward to this. Plus, I also got two other games. I got SNK Heroes and Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition. 
even though I've already got the original one on Xbox. Oh well. That's alright. That's alright. How is Spider-Man, by the way? Is that good? I've heard it's fucking awesome. Alright, so... What should I do? Hungry Snake. Why would I not do this one? <laughs> Watch for this one later. Alright, cool. Jin. So yeah, that's still a blade. It's godly. That's Is it worth the sixty bucks? Because if so I might pick it up on my next check. Because I've already spent all my budget for my check. For my for my gaming budget. So, I have one ops core. Fuck it. Fuck it, why not? Alright, modify blades with my core chips. I know I did get a core chip. Okay, I guess I didn't. Cool. Uh, oh. Oh, so this is best $60 I spent since Breath of the Wild. That's good. I'm going to pick it up then. Definitely going to pick it up if it's... If it's as good as Breath of the Wild. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. God damn. That's fucking delicious ass water. Okay, so we got Sky Cleavage and Freeze Boob. Increases damage, that let's topple them. Well, we can't topple any enemies right now. We don't. I don't have that kind of shit. You act like I have that kind of shit, but I don't. Do you see any topple here? No. Do you even see a break? No. Maybe my Marvel bias? Well, everyone's got a Marvel bias, dude. Even, even DC fucking nerds. They have a Marvel bias. The Spider-Man... God fucking damn, I can't even talk without burping. Jesus. But... No, Spider-Man's badass, dude. It's not a bias. It's just... It's just... If, if, if the good game is good, then it's a good game. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I haven't even played it, so... Holy shit, that recharge is crazy. 25 damn hits? God damn, that's... Yeesh, you get a little high there. Holy shit. Oh, there's a topple. There's a topple, but do we have a break? I'm pretty sure we do. But it's on... It's on Laura, right? Yeah, yeah it is. So what the... Okay, this game is epic. Hey, but I am polished to a high shine. To a high shine. All right. Team status. So what's this thing with teams? Like, am I gonna have two other blades right there, or, or no? Excuse me. Holy shit. said that.
Speaking of my favorite reveal for the direct, and I'm ashamed because if you go back and look at the VOD for the direct, my mic wasn't working. It was working for like the first four minutes, but then I accidentally unplugged my mic, plugged it back in, and it didn't catch a single fucking word for the rest of the stream. I was so upset, so super duper upset. But yeah. nightfall. Longing for somewhere to rest your head. But yeah. Uh, I definitely say that the <clears throat> that the Luigi's Mansion reveal, cause like that was such like a surprise, a dumbass fucking reveal. Like I wouldn't say it's a bad reveal, but it's not like it's like a a high quality, high class reveal. Like I saw. Like, I saw the darkness and I was like, okay, this has something to do with Luigi. Because, like, what what other franchise is dark with clouds? Metroid? No, no, that's not happening anytime soon. That's, that's no, it's crazy. Here we go. Here we go again. But, goddamn. And Animal Crossing, too. Animal Crossing, well, I'm not really as hyped about Animal Crossing. I've never really played it before. But um, but definitely my favorite reveal was the Yeah, exactly. Cause that's I'm pretty sure that's how we all felt. I think it was just like... <sighs> like, oh, Luigi's... Like, what I thought at first was like, oh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, coming to the Switch, HD version, will be... And I was like, oh, fuck, no way. No fucking way. No fucking way. Here we go. Pretty sure everybody got it at that. They keep coming. Well, they just don't stop coming. It was just such a small reveal. I feel like it only it, it only lasted for like for like what thirty seconds. That's not that's like a TV commercial. What the fuck? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm still excited for it. I'm definitely gonna get it. And obviously I can't stream it, but like... Zero that was beautiful, holy shit. But, I'm definitely gonna get up and play through it. Here we go. Here we go again. I was hearing that this story is supposed to be like, um, like it's Mario, Luigi, and Peach, and I think someone else, but they all go on vacation, and I guess the, the place they went to, the hotel is like haunted or something or some shit, but like, I don't know, cause like you saw this, in the trailer you see a suitcase see a suitcase from Mario. Here we go. Here we go again. So yeah. it makes you believe like, oh, this is a vacation uh. thing. Uh. No, one thing I hmm. You're doing well. No, no. I, I, I was thinking it could be like maybe a sequel to Sun to Mario Sunshine, maybe? But Snow I don't think that would I don't think that would happen. <laughs> Cool. Cool. And if that was gameplay footage, that looks really bad. 
really bad at. Think you can keep up? Catch. Thank you can take me. Rest oh, I got another attack. Great. That's epic. Open wide. Join in to run a train. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, <laughs> it's too hot for Twitch.tv. Now that'd be a good plot. I I I'd play that game specifically, exclusively for the plot. <laughs> All right, we got more stories to. Yo, that's Mikhail. That's fucking Mikhail. That's Mikhail as a kid. What happened? And he's like five Are years old. Looks like the only survivor. Looks like he doesn't know how to speak English. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. You know, that kid doesn't have a fucking scratch Moving on him for the whole the fucking town burns. burning down. Jesus. Whole fucking village. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? I'm standing, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what? You can. Isn't Shulk coming in good the DLC going. in Xenoblade 2? He's already in the DLC. You can you can play with uh you can play with Shulk in a um, with the expansion pass. So if you've got the expansion and pass, your family? You can well you've got to beat the game. First. There you've got to beat the game first. Should we go then go into new play? game plus and you got to be like level mm -hmm. 100 some My shit. My name is Mikhail. Mikhail, yeah. Oh, uh, you got to be right. like level 100 I'm some Laura. shit and fight and this big ass dinosaur is like level 110. Fucking hard as shit, even on like Philip custom with custom difficulty with everything, so just fucking I'm all alone. full fucking baby, baby bitch see. easy mode. It's still fucking hard, and and I'm right, pissed because I'm only like level today, we're going what seventy some shit. I don't know. We'll take you back to our. But yeah, you can have Shulk as a blade. You can also have strangers. Elma, Elma and uh, Biora as blades. Biora's from the original, and uh, Elma's from X. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? Um. He's gonna be a handful, this one. But yeah, no, so really. Shulk, Fiora, and Elma. I was Elma. just once. Um. Very well. You can play as. Or play Friends first, with, then. Not, as. not family. How's that sound? Well, like I said, you gotta be the game first. Come on, game plus to all that g gay hmm? shit. What's up? Then you can. I'll scout the Stupid, area. but. Look after him. Oh, Whatever. of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. Oh, shit. Mask off. Fuck it, mask on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fucking hard as hell. What it is was that fucking you crazy. Baldry? The Sian capital of Omrantha has fallen. I rather it was annihilated. And you gotta put in like hours and hours and hours so to level everything to up. And that's you aren't I'm pretty sure that that us. not that guy, but this next guy. You are not surprised at all. That guy is Praetor or Mouth's dad or something? We heard disturbing I'm not sure. circling among the magisters. Fuck, drop my wallet. Amalthus. Whom you recently elevated to Questor? People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such but yeah, it's crazy hard. Power. Is it really so, wise to, uh... I'm still gonna... Obviously, I'm still gonna go no for it, but... Power the three Xenoblade games in one it fucking sure game, that's fucking badass. It's one of the reasons I love this game so much. The architect will surely be pleased. Do you believe it can be controlled? 
try to get if four percent Spider-Man and get the trophies. Take the blame. I have Good luck, man. Because <laughs> there's a new game plus coming too. Thank so you for your even once you do 100 percent, it, it's still gonna only be you like the 50 percent. So. Your duties. Like I said, good luck if you can, but. I'm gonna try to 100% this game, not Torn of the Golden Country, but I can't even fucking talk. But you know, the original Xenoblade 2. <sighs> Torn and Trout, deviled onions, and sour avocados. I can see them together. You like trout, Stralu, right? Fuck is that? I guess. God, this dude's really fucking emotional. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Fuck indeed. <clears throat> fuck, fuck, fuck. All three of those things should be easy to come by around here. No need to travel off the beaten path. Okay, cool. Cool. So we should be able to get this pretty smoothly. Party formation has changed. Now Jin has a mask. Ooh, party formation really fucking changed. Oh, we also have Mikhail as a guest. What you're looking at right now is a collection point, uh, collectible items. Find collection points all over all rest, and each area will have its own selection of items to discover. Also, there are some collection points where you can use Blade's field skills to find special collectible items that you couldn't get otherwise. The collectibles that you find are sure to come in handy during your adventure, so if you come across a collection point, be sure to check it out. Horton Village. This is Starts becoming with horn, ends with oh, and, uh, the letter N. Let's just go over Torn and Trout. It's gotta be this, this is right? Becoming addictive. All right, you can stop saying it's becoming addictive. You sure it's not that addictive? There we go, that must be this up here. Oh, oh. Oh. I think we've been spotted. We'll find out until next time on Xenoblade 2. Investigate porn camp. Now let's get this first. This is becoming addictive. Okay, okay, we get it. It's addictive. We fucking rehab, Jesus. All right, we've got our ingredients. Fire is nice and toasty. I think we're all set for the night. Jin, do you mind st uh, making a start on the cooking? I'll get right to it. The blades doing the co wow, fucking racist, Jesus. Better gin than me. If I were in charge, I'd probably end up losing over when peeling the veggies. I can make the charms that I can never do. We make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses. Blade or driver, no one has to shoulder all the burden. Huh. Okay, I'm going to make a start on the trout stralu. It won't take long. Alright, do that. Trout stralu. What is this? Is this fucking Final Fantasy 15? Jesus. Chat? You can chat? What? What? About that battle area. What? Well, you were phenomenal. You're trying to do too much. I thought you were going to praise me. I'm only trying to draw out your full powers. You know that. It's fine. I appreciate it. Um, put yourself at risk. Um, since I touched her core crystal as a little girl and we became bonded forever as a driver and blade. Bond closer than blood, I think. That's part of the reason why I want to help you too, so you go and be there for me. That's beautiful, Laura, but you're a driver and I'm a blade. Blades protect their drivers in a fight, that's the natural order of things. Ooh, excuse me. Especially since we don't need to worry about being wounded as long as the core crystal stays intact. While I, on the other hand, in just a kingdom, when a driver dies, their blades return to their cores. That's why you want me to be more careful, right? Exactly. Right, I get it. Well, it's not like I want to make you anxious in the middle of a fight. Uh, be sure to switch out for you. That'd be great.
Great, thanks for counting on me, Zed. You know I never let you down. Never ever. Alright, cut. Why? Why do we still have shit to talk about? It's been like two fucking minutes already. Come on. Take care of the cooking. Sure, I think I can try the con it's good decent. Alright, shouldn't be too long. Okay, I hope not, because I want to get to the fucking... Alright, crap. Don't spoil your appetite before I'm done. Crouch shot it. Yes. It's ready. It's ready. My body is ready. This game is so pretty. Holy shit. I don't know how you sleep by a fire. I can't fucking do that. How sad. I'd, I'd be too worried about how rolling into the me? fire. Like, fuck. I, I can't fucking do that. Yes. Mm -mm, could never. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? God fucking damn. Anyway, you should that rest That water now. is delicious. Oh we my god. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food. Then rest up. Oh, that's kind Floor's of you. The kind of cute. Thanks. Just being real. Just being real. Lore's kind of cute. I'm a sucker for redheads. What? What? What am I gonna? What? A, I ain't got nothing else to say about her. Lore's kind of cute. I said it. I said it. Got to hit the spot, you know. I really can't say anything. It's cooking. Are you racist or what the fuck? Why are you hiding? Certain places out in the wild allow you to make camp. The three things you can do at a campsite are resting, crafting, and chatting. Rest, use bonus EXP to level teams up. Craft, use collectibles to make items. Chat, speak with allies for advice on how to proceed. As you can see, camps are places of preparation and growth. When entering a new area, it's worth scouting out the next campsite first. Crafting is one of the actions available when camping. It expends collectibles to create pouch items, as well as valuable and unique items with particular properties. As your adventure progresses, you can obtain more recipes to expand your crafting repertoire. For example, by completing quests or raiding treasure troves. Pouch items can be set inside a driver's pouch to empower that driver's team for a fixed duration. You can always create more by crafting them at the campsite, so use them as much as you can. For instance, when preparing a for a difficult battle ahead. This is... This is epic. This is real epic. I like this. Like this is fucking, fucking gorgeous, top notch. This is becoming game so far. This is becoming addictive, and I'm addicted to being tired of you hearing, uh, fucking saying I can't talk. Aren't we interested? Tree. Yeah, that's that's a very impressive tree. Cool. This is becoming addictive. Good lord, good lord, oh gosh, golly almighty. What the fuck just Jesus. This is becoming addictive. Oh, cool. In the ghost slave, please. Please. Please open up. Aren't we intrepid? I'm loving this environment so far. Holy shit. It's like, look, dude, it's a fucking forest. It's, 
I know I shouldn't be, like, impressed by that, but... Fuck, man. I really love this. I really, really do. I really... I love forest environments. Rainforest. Regular forest. Just forest, dude. Like, there's that one, uh... There's that one forest map in Star Wars Battlefront. Like, the, uh... Not the... The original, original one, but, like, the first one that EA made. It's fucking gorgeous, and I love it. And there's, uh... Talon Overworld in Metroid Prime. Uh, Metroid Prime, yeah. <laughs> fucking love it, dude. It's all rainy and shit. Fuck Follow yeah. My lead. Laura's safety is my charge. I guess they had back up. Gorgeous, this game. Uh, and you know what I love? This is a completely. You can buy this game separate from uh, Xenoblade 2 if you want. Like if you have the expansion pass for Xenoblade 2, you can just. Like, it costs less than this game, and you get more shit with it. Just fucking. Just amazing shit. Just amazing shit. Did I skip a guy? Wait, what? Oh, I'm going backwards. Oops. Whoops. Too busy enjoying the world. This is becoming and it's addictive. incredibly linear. Like, and I still fucking love it. <laughs> Shit. I just really love forest environments. I don't know why. I don't know why. They're always just so pretty and green and blue and there's dirt on the ground and there's shadows and it's dark but it's kind of bright too so like little rays of sunshine just go through the leaves and it's fucking look at this look at this pond right and the grass that, 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 that's just the thing of beauty you just can't you can't top that you can't you can't top it you just fucking can't this is beautiful these guys should be no problem I won't enjoy this. Like, not even a year after the original Xenoblade 2 releases, they've got a whole new story. For My are a right. whole new story. Yeah, we've got this. Catch. Crazy shit. Break. I probably said crazy shit about five times now. My Let's turn. heal up. I wish the battle could have been avoided. But that's war for you, I suppose. My lead. I won't enjoy this. This is becoming addictive. All right, Sorry, this dude. follow my lead. So, yeah. stay close. Excuse me, holy shit. Battle system is something else. Fucking holy fuck! I really, really enjoy this battle right. system. Follow my lead. They'll live to regret this. I'm still debating whether or not I like it more than Xenoblade 2s, but uh, it's definitely close. It definitely is. Close. Looks like you found a treasure trove. You'll discover troves of many shapes and sizes as you journey across all rest. Some of them might be locked, so you won't be able to get to the goods unless your blades have the right field skills, but it's always good to check first. The suspense is killing me. Our rigid vest. 
check that out. Let's check out that fucking sweet, sweet armor. Uh, enhance. Wait. No, 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 no. Okay. What is this? Why, 200? Holy shit. Don't mind if I do. Crazy HP restored. I'm reviving the teammate. Alright, that's useful. For now, that's useful. Uh, but yeah, fuck, dude, this game is this game is nice and clean. These guys should be no problem. Laura's safety is my charge. It's crazy. These guys should be no problem. I won't enjoy this. Level 44, go fuck yourself, dude. No fucking way. Alright, follow my lead. They'll live to regret this. Hangnail cross hair oh, go fuck yourself. I've had way too many of those. One of them started fucking bleeding the other day, and I was like, God, this fucking hurts. into a character and just as you probably noticed the bridge ahead is out it's an obstacle but not an insurmountable one using a blades field skill might provide a solution <clears throat> check out that withered tree up ahead witness Jin's field skill at work incidentally if you'd like to know more about it you can check Jin's field skill by going to the main menu characters blade setup info there are many places in the world of all rest where you'll need field, field skills to proceed if I can fucking talk Jesus fucking Christmas even if an obstacle seems impassable at first, it's worth getting a bit closer to see if you can do something about it. Okay, there's the bridge. There's a withered tree. Oh, with all my might. Then we cut see? it down. I knew you could do it. Oh, how about that shit? How good are we? Wait, can we not? No, we can't fall off of here unless we jump. Spoiling for a fight. Fine. Happy to oblige. It's all, it's, there's no S. There's no S, and you don't have to donate, dude. <laughs> don't use your mom's credit card. <laughs> nah. For real, if you do want to donate, it's just donation, not donations. Although I probably should change that. That makes a bit more sense now that I think about it. Coming at 
God, look at this. This is like a fucking beach. It. Good stuff. Harad Hills. Seem so bad. Seems really good, in fact. Try targeting all sorts of enemies. You'll occasionally encounter ones whose target icon looks different from all the normal enemies. Unique monsters. Look at that. Oh, fucking unique monsters. Don't get me started on that. Yeesh. We're in trouble with them, so if you take down a unique monster, you'll surely earn the respect of people all over all this. That said, they're not a challenge for the faint-hearted. You'll want to make sure you're prepared if you plan on surviving the powerful uh, attacks they often wield. Steal my neighbor's weapon. I'm not condoning that. Not condoning that. But thank you. <laughs> if you defeat a unique monster, a tombstone will remain at the site where it fell, in memory of its legendary life. Some say that if you press A next at the tombstone, the monster will rise from its grave to reclaim its former, former glory. Dude, where is this fucking faggot? It's right. Is that it? Nah, that can't be it. That's it over there. Aren't we intrepid? Level 23, you're out of your fucking mind. No. I don't know. I'll be fine, thank you. These guys should be no I won't enjoy this. I feel you. You read my mind ever again. Thanks. Switched again. Get that cock off. We're doing well. Fuck it. Back attack. Let's go fight this guy and get some experience. These guys should be no problem. Laura's safety is my charge. Are you gonna fight again or what's the fucking deal, dude? I feel you. You read my mind. Feel good, homie. What's wrong, man? That ended perfectly. Dun, dun. Battle ends. Fucking nice. That just sounded really clean. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Am I still level six? Yeah. Just one more EXP. Just one more. Just one more. One more. And we'll be good. Aren't we intrepid? Uh oh. Oh. I think we've been spotted. There we go.
here. Be careful. Ennui and treasure. mineral deposit. Ooh. Ooh. We got some. Was that smellosite? What the fuck? I don't want to know what that is. That doesn't sound too good. God, but look at this place. Look at this. Look at this. It's so fucking gorgeous. I'm very happy with this purchase. Okay, what's up, my lord? That short skirt? What's up, lady? Pervert. Get out of my way, you stupid squirrel. Because he's just fucking going off on his own, just being a dickhead. <laughs> Fuck that bird. Fuck that bird, man. Fuck it. Just fucking killing that bird. me. So what time is it? 2 30? <laughs> yeah, I still got like another good hour. Really? Why? Why? That doesn't make any damn sense. Come on now. Come on now, Tetsuya Takahashi. Takahashi-san. Or is it Tetsuya-san? I don't, don't fucking know, man. Pretty sure it's Takahashi. Or whatever. I, I, I don't know. This is becoming know. addictive. I, I don't fucking know, man. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm a fucking idiot. When it comes to Japanese terminology. I don't speak Japanese. This is becoming addictive. Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna have to fight some fucking idiots for it. No, I'm not. Just go in and no. Right back in and right back out. We made it. Good stuff. Secluded bone way. Seem so bad. Mm -hmm. I got a secluded bone way for you. Aren't oh. we intrepid? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really bad. I've got a secluded bone way for you. I'm just gonna leave you guys up. Never mind. Happy I guess to we'll oblige. Fight. She goes running off somewhere again. I feel you. Woods of Yorn. Okay. I get this shit. I get this shit. This is pretty wild flowers.
this so far. This is probably the best expansion pass to ever exist, I'm not gonna lie. But like, cause fuck man, you get... You know what, we'll wait, we'll wait on what I have to say. Cause I've got a lot to say. Looks like Hayes isn't here yet. Gas crater, what the hell? This is this should be the village of Feltley. Well fuck it isn't anymore. Jesus. What the hell it's happened? Like glass. Rumor among the mercs says that's the hallmark of the Aegis. But why would he do this? Oh shit, there he is. Fucking what's the fuck? Gargoyle? Just focus. Wait, hold on, this music. Yo, this music is like some Zeno Blade X. I need your help here, Jin. Good. I'm with you. Great. Midnight Sun. Oh, with each day. Midnight Sun. Oh, fuck yeah. We beat that little bitch. Wait, did we? No. No, we didn't. It's no normal monster. Obviously. Not an Ardanian Titan weapon either. Maybe it's Malice's. Get down, you two! What's up, Mithra? Yo, shit, that's Mithra! What up, Mithra? Hey, Mithra saves the day. Yay! Holy. Still That's what they're called, around. artifices. So it was. That's what I was gonna say. What up, Mithra? Look at fine as hell. As always. Hey. It's Adam. Wait a minute. <laughs> the emblem of Torna. You are Jin, right? Wow, I can't believe it. I came all the way out here, and who do I say but the paragon of Torna and his driver? <laughs> You're so young. That core crystal was stolen 17 years ago. Quite a feat to pull off that heist at that age. Are you going to arrest us? Execute us? I don't know yet. You want to fight us? I did just save you after all. Are you gonna fight us? Oh, how magnanimous. Who's Laura, doing your big words? There's no point in talking. Fuck you. Magnanimous. 
more like a fag, to be honest. Have it your way. Burger King. Yo, 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 incoming you. Get up after we kick their ass. Are you serious? You, both of you. You're on huh? camera. This is what would you do? That last attack, the force behind it was absurd. I'm amazed. Oh, uh, really? Well, that's just... Hey, can <laughs> Oh, and passing weapon. What a concept. How did you ever come up with that idea? Oh, well... It's not that hard. I mean, you just... Toss the weapon to the driver. We were broke. Uh huh. What? What do you mean? We couldn't afford meals, let alone another sword. Oh, uh, okay. And so we made Makes do. Sense. This is gonna be pretty God damn, you weren't <laughs> supposed to reveal that we were on welfare. You're kidding. Fucking whore. <laughs> oh man, you guys are the best. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Huh? The voice actor does not fit, Adam. I really, really like you two. Uh... That's gay, bruh. Master Adam! Sir! Milton! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Master Adam, are you hurt at all? Master Adam? You can't be the Adam Origo. The Lord of the Letter, the fourth in line to the throne of Torna. Oh, come on, Milton. I've been with him the whole time. You really think these two would cause any harm? You've been using your dumb artifice again, haven't you? Dumb? So, yeah, sure, nothing to worry about, right? <gasps> Milton? Who's this then? Ah, this is Hayes. She rescued me from the jaws of some nasty monsters. Well, I'd better give her my thanks. Hayes! Oh, was she with you? 
I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. So happy. I see. So that's when. What a sad, sad tale, Nora. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Get one on deck in case he decides now. to be a pussy. So then, how come you've enlisted with a band of mercenaries? I guess I like the freedom. This way I'm not tied down. So I can help out. With causes I really believe in, you know? Going's tough everywhere you look these days, right? Can't ignore it, can I? I understand. A fat load of good that'll do, in the long run. The world keeps turning anyway. You might think that. That's some serious. But mercenaries and statesmen that. each have their own views and ways to affect change. It's not in vain. <laughs> A blade siding with humans. You don't see that every day. I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. <laughs> huh? Blades like you really are a rare sight. That may be for Ooh, the best. Damn, Jen. <laughs> no chill. No chill. No chill. <laughs> So, about Jin, I suppose you have no to take him away chill. from me. God damn, Jin. I could try to slay you right here. But? But my mission is to stop the Aegis's destruction. To subdue Malos, not to seek out lost trinkets. Who cares about arrogance anyway? Huh? How about you two join up? Lend us your strength. You're incredibly powerful. There's loads I want to pick up from you. Like that trick from before. Let's see. We'll say I found the Paragon on my journey and decided to entrust him to you. To help with Malus. Well, sound plausible? That's just... What did you say? What are you talking about? How dare he speak to me like that? He thinks he knows me. Of course is the word. Yeah, he is. I meant you. <laughs> me? <laughs> he meant you're unpolished. Gotcha, After you return to your core, you lose your memories. However, as you gain experience with people, gradually the nature of a blade, rather their feelings, they change and grow. You become more and more human. But you purposely keep yourself apart. Oh, so now it's my fault? Yeah. No, not at all. Oh, okay. Just thought I'd get in on the roasting I action. I respect that part of you. <laughs> Ooh, nothing flashy. Ooh. Not really blessing, dog. Sorry, but I, I personally, I like Pyra better. Pyra is hey, way better. Angry. Like I said, redheads all day. About this whole Malos thing. I'm not. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Be sure. Be 
we cannot simply ignore what's happening in the world. But... But what? Please say you'll be careful. <laughs> I will. Okay, what was that? Of course not. But did you see that little flicker just then? That might have just been the capture card, but... See that little flicker that looked kind of gay. I don't much understand that, but whatever. Um, your highness. Just Adam is fine. What is it? The going off to Malos thing. Could it wait a few days? Oh, is there something you need to do first? I, well, yes. You see, Lady Laura seeks the whereabouts of her mother. She did. Unfortunately, she has her mercenary she duties did. to perform. Therefore, I often go out and conduct these searches myself. I see. Then you found her? Yes. With all that happened yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to say, My lady, your mother is currently residing oh, so in she's a small not hamlet called Torigoth. Cool. We're going back to Torigoth? Torigoth. Ooh. Torgoth. That's on the edge of Gormot. Gormot. What in Torgoth? Ardanian and Sian forces clash out there frequently. It's very dangerous. Wait, so is it not... Indeed. Is it not like a city right. anymore? What's that? What's no up with you, dude? Waste. Let you us head out there. I can't read your username what? very well, but... <laughs> but what about your mission? What's up? Not much. Just playing Torna. The Golden Country. You don't want Did you just join... to see your mother? Uh... uh of course, but... Oh, Coalition of Salty Streamers? No, now I've been on there go. for a couple of months now. Malos but I don't believe I part of the world sent out a notification. It's as but, good a place as any to look. But yeah, I've been on there for a You're hoping for we a might minute. find him there. Exactly. I just don't That sounds too easy. Just don't say anything about it. We go to the village of Torogoth to find Malos. Because I just And I you go to Torogoth to find your I've mother. Had a bad experience Everybody with, wins. With uh And once I found my mother, I join up with you. Just friggin That's the general idea. Putting links in the chat, you know. I'll send my people to notify but, uh, your mercy. But yeah, no, I've been on there for a fat minute. And perhaps we could find a place for your mother in the capital. It should be safe there. Is this normal princely behavior? Mm, if you think this is bad, just stick around for a bit. Nobody's like making you come along, you know. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, are flaming a pirate. driver and blade God, are one in body er, and soul. Excuse me. As if you oh, don't do whatever you. you feel like anyway. God damn that kid. God damn, Mithra's getting fucking out here. I know this fuck. is all very sudden. Still, we don't know where we'll run into Malos next. It makes That's sense crazy. to stick together as much as we can. Who is that? Isn't that? Wait a minute. No fucking way. That's that guy. No, no, fuck that guy. No, we don't fuck with him. No mistaking it. That's the blade. And that little brat, too. That fucking asshole. Oh, you got it just a just a normal blade. Or were you about to go fight them? I are you fucking dumb? Yeah. The whole village was wiped out. Found myself some great cool crystals, eh? And I found something else too. Something you really fucking bastard. Why? Why? Just go away. Just go away. Nobody likes you, dude. Bye, bitch. Yo, fuck that guy. Uh huh. Give me some time to take care of this, okay? The guy's a dick. The guy's. I'll be in touch. Fucking dick. Never 
thought I'd get to take back that paragon. But I stole in the first place. Oh, wait, that's his... That's his blade. So, he awoke Jin. So, he dies. Let me get this straight. If he dies, then Jin dies. But if Laura dies, then Jin doesn't die. Right? Right? Maybe. I don't remember. Second chance against me. Powers are on a completely different level. Excuse me. Exactly. When I said I had more company, I was talking about all three of you. I don't care whether you're a blade or a driver. I'm just happy we get to share our time together. Okay, then that's a pretty weird way of thinking, if you ask me. So you think so? Shut up, Mithra. Um, should we perhaps be on our way to Yanchik Harbor now? If we keep to the road, it should take us straight there. Regular boat from Yanchik to Gormod, is it? As far as I know, it's still running, but we should probably hurry all the same. Ooh, I've got to I don't want to substitute. I don't want to substitute. I just want to check out my fucking. Now that Hayes has rejoined your party, you'll be able to blade switch. When a team contains two blades performing a blade switch while while exploring or in battle, let you set select I can't talk, select which of the blades will participate in the action. You can perform a blade switch by pressing left. In battle, the technique comes with a cooldown timer, so you won't be able to use it in quick succession. By combining vanguard switching and blade switching, you can choose the battle participants to suit your playstyle or as the situation requires. That's epic. That's pretty badass. Talent arts are now available. What are talent arts? What's up, Hayes? That's right, you bitch. Focus and power blade. Okay, cool. So that's just normal shit. That's just normal shit. Let's Okay, so let's see. Let's hands arts. So we got 320 points to spend. Talent art. Wait, what is? Can we not? No, we can't upgrade that. Okay, that's fine. That's the touch me not. That's the switch art. Increases backstab damage, halves aggro. Nice. I'm getting sharper, keener. Sharper, cleaner? Is that what you said? I hope that's what you said. Rising arc. Oh, that's Adam. Cool, 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 cool. Legion scatter. Ogre smash. Get out of my swamp. I didn't know Shrek was in this game. Now it's Shrek time. <laughs> when own HP is at 30 or higher. Uh, Alright, you can't. You can't upgrade that. Oh, shit. Excuse me. I'm not tired, I swear. Fury wave, shadow thrust, and edge strength. Yeah, that's epic. When you've got it, you've got it. I'm sure. When you've got it, you've got it. Okay, we got it. I can keep on going, especially at this rate. All right, cool. Spectral Halo, Radiance Bone. Wait, okay, so we got increases crit hit rate, Radiance Bone. Okay. 
Holy shit, boost arts recharge from auto attack. What? So that's just, that's all it is? That's fucking, no, that's not really, it's <laughs> not really all that great. Ray of Punishment, Lightning Buster, and Photon Edge. Um, I guess we'll just go for this shit, because like, no one is hurting my friends. I fight for no my friends. No one is hurting my friends. I fight for my friends. No one is hurting my friends. I... Okay, well, it's right there. It's fucking Christ. Jesus. Okay. So we got Wind of Healing. Winds of Time. All arts are fully charged. Reduce own arts recharge to zero to stop enemies from acting for five seconds. The Switch is getting good RPGs. Yes, dude, the Switch is getting crazy good RPGs. Like, did you see all those fucking Final Fantasies that got revealed today? Plus, what else? Fucking, I don't know. I got a bunch of other shit on here, but like. <laughs> but, um. But yeah, no, the Switch is getting fucking awesome RPGs. Um, you know, we got this. We got the original Xenoblade 2. We got, I, there's, there's not any that come to mind right now, because I'm, I'm focused directly on this, so, like, but, yeah, I, I totally agree, Switch is getting fucking awesome RPGs, and a lot of them, too, like, Crystal Chronicles, god, I'm excited about Crystal Chronicles, because I have the sequel for it on Wii, um, we also, so I just, Keep giving it my all. I am Sesson. That's another one. That's another good one. I actually... I, that, was, that was the second game. Second? Maybe my third game I got for the Switch when like I first got it. I remember playing it in school. Oh, Final Fantasy VII, dude. Final Fantasy VII. I, I'm sad that the remake isn't coming out anytime soon, but like... I, I, I've got it on the PS1. I wasn't going to play it there, but now it's coming out on the Switch, so why would I play it on the PS1? I can take this wherever the fuck I want. But, um... But yeah, I am Setsuna. Um, that's a real good one. I'm just... The Switch is a good JRPG machine. It is. It really is. is I mean, it looks addicted. good. Like, have you seen this shit? It's a fucking... Like this forest, this pond. Oh my god, that's so. That's like just how it goes from like a yellowish green to blue, just like that. It's so, so beautiful. The remake will come out in thirty. Yeah, we're all gonna be dead by then. We're all gonna be dead by the time Final Fantasy VII remake comes out, and then, and then no one's gonna be old enough to know what Final Fantasy VII was. <laughs> None of the kids, excuse me, but you know what I mean. Chat. Okay, let's see what we got. Lady Laura, your mother is safe in Sound of Torkoth Village. That's at the Gormati's border, I believe. That's right, we can make our way via the ferry from Yancha Carver. I guess we should stop chewing the fat and head out to Gormat. That's a good idea. Alright, what can we use? Oh, home cooking, talisman making, replica artifact making. Wait. Okay. Creative cuisine. I know it'll be worth the wait. Can we make that yet? No. Let's just make that. It's the tried and true shit. Or the tried and trout stralu shit. Now, let me see. Okay. Uh, let's just make this that. This came out very one. well. Fuck not. Stitch by stitch. Nothing. Time to roll up the old sleeve. Nothing. Charges arts by 0.1 each second. The hype for this game, I almost forgot about Octopath. Mm hmm. Octopath as well. I also have that on on a cartridge. And, <laughs> like, the day after I got the physical edition, my cat decided to throw up on the fucking cover. So, I was upset, to say the least. But, you know, he's my cat. I'm not gonna, like, beat him up over it or anything, but it's just. 
It's just like, I, I got a little heated. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little heated. But no, Octopath Traveler's very fucking good. Oh, also, let's rest, yeah. Okay, no. But I really like Octopath. I don't like when you select, um, uh, there's one, it's like the, it's the dancer, I forgot her fucking name because it's been fucking forever since I played it, but it's the, whichever one's the dancer, like when you start out in the cave, the fucking, the vignette, it's like really fucking green and annoying, like it should just be just normal black, but it's, it's green, like it's like this fucking grass right here, why? Why is it green? Definitely, it, it never made any sense to me, and it still doesn't. I don't understand it. it it's not like it made me stop playing the game. The oh, only reason I stopped playing it was because this game, you know. Like you said, hype for this game, but. But like Laura just said, this is addictive. This is getting addictive. This fucking game. Right, let's see about. Oh, I fuck it. Where are you? Right What's this? That's a miasma, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Should do something about this before it ends up blocking the way to the harbor. Yes, Fire Emblem 2. I've actually never played a Fire Emblem, to be honest. I Obviously, I've heard great things about it, but... Fire Emblem, just tactical RPGs aren't exactly my thing. Like, I'm sure they've got great stories and shit, but... Just tactical RPGs, like I said, not really my thing. But I'll definitely be buying it and trying it out. Um, I was playing uh, the original Fire Emblem. The, granted, it's the Game Boy Advance remake. Uh, I was playing it on my Switch through an emulator. It, it's alright, it's not bad. I didn't get anywhere in it, but... Fire Emblem seems like a fun game. Um, don't like the title though. Do not like the title though. Three houses? Why? Three houses. Hopefully, I've got three houses right here. One, two, three. You know, my fucking neighbors and myself. Make any damn sense. That's that the power you wield is undeniable, but all it takes is just the slightest misjudgment, and we end up being no better than malice. Sorry to interrupt, but I think these powers should be religious person too. Oh, really? That would be very handy. Just need a moment of concentration. Do you think you could take care of the monsters for me? Say no more myth or you're up. Looks like a ridiculously over complicated way to deal with things, but my driver's ocean might come in. That'll do. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Three hours of this side. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know, so really. Sad. You play a Fire Emblem game most of the time for the gameplay, not the story. Really? Interesting. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep playing Xenoblade, even after that game comes out. But still, I'll, I'll definitely still try out Three Houses. I might stream it, but quests can be broadly divided into main story quests and regular quests. This is a main story quest, which means it's required to progress the game's story. Its objective appears on the compass with a pink double exclamation mark icon. Many people throughout the world have troubles they'd appreciate your help with. Those characters will have a blue question mark icon above their heads. Speak to them and they'll explain the situation requesting your assistance with something. That's how regular quests work. Resolving their issues will surely move them to reward you and with a nice gift in return. Regular quests are not necessary to progress through the game's story and are marked on the compass with blue icons. Now then, let's use Aze's powers to get rid of, rid of, rid of, fuck, rid of the miasma here. Oh, I think we've been spotted. Uh, each of your party members has a unique art that only they can use, called a talent art. If you have requirements for activating it, you can press that to do so. Okay, cool. You press the, you know, right. Talent arts have very powerful effects, and can come with significant downsides as well. Be sure to consider when and how to use them to get the most benefits. Each of you have... Why would I want to... Okay, no, not right now, because... Beautiful. Give me that money. Give me that sh money. I feel 
like the Nintendo would just told the composer for this DLC, do jazz. And it works. It works. I love it. I love that it works. I mean, granted, it's not as great as the original, but it's fucking beautiful. It's still beautiful. God, that's fucking gorgeous. I love this DLC so far. As it may be, we can't give up now. If there's more, why? Why are there more? Where have they come from? Did they spawn out of the ether miasma? songs better be in Smash. Dude, I'll be excited if just the battle music from the original Xenoblade 2 gets in Smash. I'll be excited if some Xenoblade X music gets in Smash. Like, Uncontrollable? Fucking god. If Uncontrollable makes it in this match, oh my god. I will just nut on the spot. As soon as I hear that song in, like, the menu screen or whatever... Nut. Instant nut. But fuck, man. Titans, the great confidence of Arents, are living beings, and one of the waste products they generate manifests as ether miasma. So it's poop? Is that what it is? That's poop? <laughs> Alright. That's too much, Nintendo. That's too much, Monolith. Come on now. Ether Miasma tends to attract monsters, so removing it isn't the safest of occupations. It is, however, rewarding, so it unlocks, as doing so, unlocks a new collection point each time. Clearing away the Miasma results in the right, require, excuse me, requires the right field skills. They can be acquired and improved by unlocking the right nodes in the Blade's affinity charts. Okay. The ether bends as I will it. Cool. Very nice. I heard the jazz remix of one of the songs of the main theme in this when I was playing. Wait, there's a jazz remix of the. Hang on, what do you mean the main theme? You mean. You mean the battle theme or the main theme? I mean, either way, it's all fucking good music. Like. I don't believe I've ever heard a bad Xenoblade song, except maybe. Maybe the. The night music for uh, Xenoblade X is. Uh, what's it? New LA. That's, uh, not too great. Jesus. There's so much ether around here, we're bound to find some nice stuff if we look around. Oh, it's the abundance of ether. Uh, give it to me. I'm so glad you're with us. Is it worth dusting off my Wii U? Um... Not for the story. Not for the story. The, uh, I haven't played. I haven't played through the entire Xenoblade X. Um, but as far as like, be just roaming the world, seeing how pretty it is, it's like up there with Breath of the Wild. It is. Like I said, it's it's a beautiful game. Uh, story is great. The tyrant, the tyrants, which are unique monsters in that game. Um, uncontrollable like i said that's the song for it's fucking gorgeous um but if you're looking for like a like a world building like it encourages you to explore right so you don't you don't take fall damage you run fast as hell jump high as hell so if you're into that and, and it's basically like xenoblade x or the original the battle system is somewhat it's more akin to the original Xenoblade than this one. <laughs> but I remember playing it and getting it for my birthday. It it's a fun time. It's a fucking jam. In fact I might play it on the stream. Uh what time is it? I got about forty minutes before I leave. But 
But um, but yeah, Xenoblade X, it's a good time. Uh, yeah, kind of like the story. The story is kind of eh. the story is just like you know, Earth dies. You go on a different planet. Oh, there's aliens. They're trying to kill you. Uh, just, just dumb shit. There's a lot of customization options for your character. Um, but yeah, you are kind of right. It, it is about the world and what you can do in it. But it's a fun time. Though. I had a lot of fun with it. It was my first foray into the into the Xenoblade franchise. And um, but it's definitely the. Yeah, you ride it, uh, they're called Skells. You don't get that till like, uh, chapter five, I think. And that does take a while, considering you have to meet specific requirements to move uh, through the chapters. But, um, and then I think, you don't get to fly in the Skells immediately. But you do, you do get I'm the Skells, you can drive around, uh, move faster. You can move faster with the Skells. But, um, this is becoming addictive. But yeah, so that takes a while to get. What else was I saying? Um, once you fly in the scales, the game gets so much fucking fun, though. Like, just just seeing the world, how fucking beautiful it is. I, and I honestly don't know why I like the game so much. It's not, it's not like a stellar Xenoblade game. This is right? becoming but addictive. It, it's, got, it's got its... It's got its ups, and it's got its downs. But, um, you know, but it's just, it, it's, like I said, it's my first Xenoblade game, um, and I, I loved it, I absolutely loved it, um, I don't think it's that expensive to buy anymore, I'm, I, I haven't, I haven't really seen it in stores, but I'm pretty sure you can pick up a used copy for pretty cheap, no problem, please would you defeat them for me? Sure, why not? Alright. Monolith well, Soft is like old school Square Enix. They just make good shit. Yeah, dude. Monolith Soft actually came from Square. Did you know that? Next time on Did You Know Gaming, did you know? No, but there's... I don't remember the YouTube channel, but there is a channel that, uh, like did the history of Monolith Soft. I think it's uh, a Know Your Devs Monolith Soft or some shit like that. But it was a really good video. And Monolith Soft, they, you're right, they do make good shit. And I actually just picked up uh, Xenosaga. If you've never heard of that game, it's a PS2 game uh, made by Monolith Soft. And, um, I haven't really played through it because I've been playing this and tons of other fucking games that I have. <sighs> but but from what I've heard, Xenosaga is a jam. And there's three of the Xenosaga games, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the model itself is fucking they're awesome. I love them. No, they were on their deathbed in the Nintendo Bundle. Yeah, that was, um... It, was, it wasn't necessarily that they bought them. It was, uh, more like they encouraged them. Because the thing is... Okay, so here's a story with, uh, with Monolith Soft. So the producer of this game and pretty much all of the Xeno title games, uh, first game that they made was... Xenogears on the PS1, and that was published by Square Enix. And uh, Square Enix kind of held that game down a little bit, even though like it was it was a well-reviewed game. Uh, but Square Enix was kind of just well at the time it was just SquareSoft, but they were just kind of holding them down, and, you know, just not letting them you know be at the front lines of like Final Fantasy and shit. I hope we'll be but, able um, to help. Yeah, sure. Um, and then. I think on the PS2, when the PS2 came around, they decided to make, hey, um, let's just 
make our own fucking company, call it Monolith Soft, and because Square Square had owned the rights to the Xenogears series, they were like, all right, well the Xeno prefix isn't isn't theirs, but still we can still use that. So let's make our own game, call it Xeno Saga, and that was published by Namco, I believe. Goodwill and her Goodwill Laura and her friends create. Job location. Is that the new thing? Is that the hidden thing? Okay. Alright, cool. But, um. Yeah, Cosmos. Uh, well, what the fuck? Okay, cool. That's the community screen. Um. But yeah, so they made Xenosaga, they made Xenosaga 1, 2, and 3. And then I think, don't quote me on this, but I think it was after the third one came out. Because Namco was also kind of holding them down a bit too. They were kind of, you know, restricting them a little more on what they could do. And, uh, and so Nintendo was encouraging them. You know, Nintendo was like, Nintendo was, they were encouraging them, saying, you know, do what you want to do basically. And so, uh, I guess you could say they did buy them, I guess. But, um, but they made a deal with Nintendo that they'd, that they'd, uh, they would publish their games only on Nintendo consoles. They'd only make the games for Nintendo consoles. Thus, uh, games like Xenoblade came out. I think there were a few more that weren't Xeno games that were made for Nintendo consoles, but, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the story of that, and now they're like the king of JRPGs, let's be honest, because Square, uh, no. Square Enix ain't that great, uh, main two, two way, main, main, fuck, main ways, hey, make a game, we'll publish it, the end, basically, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just, like, just be creative, go nuts, pretty much, that's what they said. Just go nuts, and we'll, you know, yeah, just, we'll publish it. But yeah, if you want to check out the video, I think, see, now I'm curious, I don't remember, I don't remember what that was. Oh, I can open up Google Chrome without exploit crashing. Square lost their, lost their side from the rare gem. I'm like Octopath, yeah. Octopath is a jam. It's a jam gem. I swear to God, if this opens up porn. Sneeze that real quick. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know how I feel about Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, because I have never in my life, uh, ever really fucking got my joke. Like, ever really tried my hand. Kingdom Hearts, like, I've, I've played a little bit of the first one, the remastered one on, on PS4. And, and it's... Alright, it's whatever. It's just like, I, I never really hyped about it, because I didn't really play it. But Kingdom Hearts 3 looks like a jam. It looks like a pretty, pretty good game. Oh, fuck. I should not have opened Chrome. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I'll go fuck myself. Jesus, never mind. No, 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 no. Task manager, where you at? Task manager. Task manager, I need you. This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. Okay, there's Chrome. There's Chrome. Okay. <laughs> Let me close this up before... It looks, it looks pretty good. I'm definitely gonna try it out. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it like on release because like pretty. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! 
fucking Chrome. God damn it. I hate you. Mm, I hate fucking Google Chrome. We're still on, right? Sorry about that, but um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be buying Kingdom Hearts at launch because I'm just not into it right now. It's not something I want to spend my money on. Play the first game and realize, oh shit, this fucking sucks. Uh, when you're running XP, uh, yeah, 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 basic JRPG stuff. Add pouch item to a driver's pouch to empower the team with a certain buff for fixed duration. There are three ways to make a driver stronger. You can either improve their actual character or one two ways. Or improve their equipment. Enhance arts, affinity chart. Um, accessories you own. Four ways to make a blade stronger. You can either improve their actual character or two ways you improve their equipment. Okay. Alright. The pop up notification that the affinity world itself won't be unlocked at this point, though. So you won't notice any different just yet. When you get the Affinity Ward pop-up, be sure to check the unlocked ability in the menu. If you don't, the blade won't develop. Oh yeah, no. Smash. Smash. That is my game. Oh my god. When Smash comes out, I am going to be playing that. I'm going to be playing that on stream like tonight. Like how I did this tonight. As this came out. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Except I might be going to a midnight, midnight release. <laughs> but, um, nah, I'll probably just download it to be honest. But, I'm still definitely going to be playing this on stream the night that this comes out. The night, well, not this, but the night that Smash comes out. Um, Trees will be eliminated on the tournament, you see, but you never have a chance, so the Barney Stones remain untouched to this day. Barney might have been a bit useless and a good for nothing, but it makes for an interesting tale, right? Yeah. Glad to have met a like minded soul. I've heard there's a Barney stone somewhere hidden in Harad Hills. I thought I might have a go of finding it myself, but so far, no luck. Now I'm thinking I might just pack up and head back to the capital, but you look like you might be able to find it. When you do find it, you're supposed to hold your hands up and chant, Barney the man. <laughs> Three times. Now I need Smash physical. See, that's the thing is, I want to get the physical version. I want to get the the special edition that costs over a hundred fucking dollars. But, but at the same time, like I just want to play the game. <laughs> like you see my shirt. I just want to play the fucking game. I want to get good at it. I want to play with Captain Falcon. I want to see how good the Falcon cock is in that game. Did I say Falcon Cock? Because I meant that. Um, but in all seriousness, I don't fucking know. Because I know the Joy-Cons are pretty cool. Although I already like these white Joy-Con skins that I've got on here. But, I don't know. I'm so just... I don't know what to do. Like, obviously I'll buy the game. Of course I'm going to buy the game. And I'm, and I'm gonna buy the digital copy. Need. If it wasn't a broke fuck wad, I would buy the special edition. Yeah, that's the thing. It's so goddamned expensive. I mean, what, what do you get? A fucking... You get the case, and you get the special GameCube controller. That GameCube controller looks kind of dumb, to be honest. I honestly like the Smash 4 GameCube controller a lot better, but I never bought that one, so, oh well. Alright, now I gotta go listen to this one, but, uh, 
But no, the... The GameCube controller doesn't look so good, and the GameCube adapter, like, I've already got one. I don't, I don't need it. I'd really just buy it for the case. And even then, they've got the fucking middle case. Oh, a poster. Hmm, that poster changes things. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, and I mean, they've already got the fucking the special edition for the Switch with the special Joy-Cons coming out. It's like, man, can't I just have the fucking Joy-Cons by themselves? Fuck. Uh, Alright, I don't care about this. I just want to... Yeah, there we go. I and hope we'll be able to help. But the Joy Cons look so fucking cool, and I just, I just want the Joy Cons. I don't want a whole fucking other Switch console. Like I've got, I've got two Switches. I've got two Switches. I've got this one, and then I've got another one I use for homebrew. I don't need another one. I really don't. And I don't even need another dock, cause I've already, I've already got three Switch docks. I don't fucking. Break, topple, launch, and smash. Inflicting them in that order, starting with break, is called a driver combo. What? That's a driver combo in this? Alright, cool. That's gonna be a bit confusing later in the game, but... but break, topple, launch, and smash. Wait. Smash. Smash. Yo. Laura and Jin for smash? Honestly, that'd be badass. But... Probably not. Starting with break is called a driver combo. Okay, cool. From topple onward, inflicting the status will cause foes to drop HP potions and they won't fight back. You can use this to your advantage in battle. That's pretty cool. That is epic. Alright, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Why are there so many green bears? What the fuck? Yo, what is... Did you... Did you fucking hear that? <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? I bought into Temptation. I wanted to wait for the physical edition, but I just went and bought and downloaded the extension pass for... For this? Oh, for Xenoblade 2? Fuck it, man. Why not? Why not, dude? Is killing me. Play this game, man. Play it as soon as you can. Go get Rex. Uh, go get Shulkin, Elma, and Fiora as your fucking blades. Why not? That's what I did, and I don't regret it. Granted, I can't do it because there's a hard ass mission you gotta beat. But yeah, that was weird. But. Like it's there's a really hard ass mission. You gotta find like a level. You gotta fight like a level 110. Adam died. 110 dinosaur. So fucking difficult. Even with like you know the custom difficulty. If you have the custom difficulty set to like the easiest possible settings, it still kills you in like three hits. It's fucking hard at like level. I don't know level 70. You've seen it? Yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. So, I've just. I've been trying to grind out for. at a. at Xenoblade 2. Because it's just. I really. I don't know if you've beat it, and I don't want to spoil it for you. Shulk is worth it. Yes, Shulk is worth it. Okay, I have a question. Have you beat the game? Because I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything, but I think it'd be really cool to, sh to see Shulk fighting Malos. If you beat the game, I need to know. Because <laughs> I really don't want to spoil anything for you. Yeah, you have? Okay, I really want to see Shulk fight Malos. Because they both use Monados. It's so fucking cool. I, I guess that's not really a spoiler, but like, it's still fucking cool. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just gonna be like, you can Monado burst at the same time. The Battle of the Monado, yes. The Battle of the Monado Boys. 
the Aegis versus Persians. Okay. Um, versus the original Monado boy. This is the Monado of power. But I always thought that'd be a badass fight. This game, this fucking Xenoblade 2, this expansion pass is like the king of all expansion passes. Like, if you're an avid Xenoblade fan, you've got Shulk, you've got Fiora, you've got Elma, you've got Rex, all in one game. And then you've got a whole other game just fucking combining it. Honestly, I think buying this game with the expansion pass over the physical edition is well I think the physical edition is a fucking rip off because it's 40 bucks for that and it's 30 bucks for the expansion pass you get way more shit with the expansion pass plus you get to play this game earlier so why would you buy that you buy the expansion pass it's so fucking stupid I guess if you want the physical case sure but like is it worth the extra ten dollars just for a cover just for a cover there's no deluxe edition for it. It's not like you're going to get, like, I don't know, like, fucking a bookcase. Not a bookcase, but you know what I mean. Like, a book cover with, like, the porno logo on it. I don't know, fucking know. But I don't think it's worth it. I, I really don't. That's exactly what I want to show It's practically the only place where Lady Laura's mother can feel secure these days. Don't look so glum, Hayes. If it weren't for you, I'd never found out that my mother fled here. I can't thank you enough for that. Yes, I suppose. She has so much content, and they said they are open to more. You mean there's chances they might do another story? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me, man? Sarah, are you saying? Are you saying it could be a Xenoblade 3? As part of the expansion pack? Is that? Well, I might just have to cut my dick off and eat it. Because that's just. Yo, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is this? This music. Alright, did you hear that? Holy shit. Take it straight there. This is uncharted territory for us. Try not to. Never mind, it's not like I need to tell you any of that. Yes, I dare say we've all learned to exercise caution by this point. Let's not dally then. Onwards. What? What? Oh, okay, cool, whatever. That's fucking crazy. Why is that text box so big? That's unnecessary. But this music, holy shit. Aren't we intrepid? Pyro, what are you throw? What are you doing? There you go, you got it. But that's crazy about the DLC. I, I didn't even know about that. This is becoming addictive. That's... Seriously, the guy in sex is fucking nuts. Listen to that. Hmm. Fuck, man. That's... I hate to sound redundant, but that's music to my ears. Fordia Great Plains. This is Gormont, right? Aren't we yeah, intrepid? It is. I don't know whether I like Xenoblade 2 music or this. I think I. Fuck, this is fucking great. But I think it's because the music is just so good. That I like it. I, I, I don't know. It's 
it's all it's all good music. This is becoming really addictive. Is. All right. I know I shouldn't just be <laughs> fucking Spawning event hopping or whatever you want to call it. Oblige. Where are you? There you go. Let's do it. Water Dame is fucking. This shit slaps. Fucking slaps. Side attack. Get over there. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. I feel like I'm going to get out It feels like the battle music just mixes in with the... With the beat, with the fucking... With the fucking... Just the overworld music. It's just so... It just transitions so nicely. It's like, ah, oh, I love it. The UI design is so clean. Yeah, dude, this is, it is nice. I like, I do like the battle system, how you, how you can, you know, switch between your blade and, okay, I don't want Haze. I want Jin. Jin can talk it. Haze can't, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, the battle system is, it's kind of nuts, to be honest. Like, it's still... It's kind of like how Xenoblade X was to the original Xenoblade. This is becoming addictive. It's kind of the same. But it's upgraded as well. It's nice. And I like it. I like it a lot. Man Meadow. This is so new. And it's like, it's still just an old machine. It's still just, it's Gormon. I have to keep reminding myself that because this is all so new. And it's crazy how they made this shit in like, what, fucking, I don't know. How long has it been since the game released? Like, let's see, it's September, right? So about eight months. Eight months, dude, that's not even a full fucking year. It's great. That's just... This entire just expansion pass is just crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, main story was, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit, I cried. I'm, and I think a lot of other people did too at the end of the main story, but... Yeah, this game is kind of sad to be honest, but... It's still like this jazz music, it's hard to be. It's hard to be sad. Since late January. See, I was, I was kind of thinking earlier that maybe... That maybe it had been in development since before Xenoblade 2 got released. I don't know. I don't know. I think they could. I can still improve. But they would be I able to, to just make another game, the make another story. But I don't know. That's the great thing about it. It's the mystery. It's the mystery of this entire shit. But I, I don't know. I don't know. It's all just. really overwhelmed right now like holy shit really fucking another green barrel why why are there so many damn green barrels aren't we intrepid I really don't want to fight anyone right now I just want to do a story doc Yo, what up doc doc I could say I'm an adventurer, but I also have a scholarly interest in the link between Aether and Titans. Do you know anything about this atmospheric disturbance called the Aether Miasma? 
There's been a few of these either miasmas popping up around Gormont lately, only little ones, mind. I was going to go and have a look myself, but I got set upon by monsters before I could get very far. Yo, hold on. This dude looks fat. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, my stupid Joy-Cons. God damn it. I'm sure they worked on it during the production of Season 2, but they for sure did most of the development this year. Yeah, definitely most of the development was gone in this year, but I'd say maybe it was just like, it was just like the, the overworld, like the Titans, and all the, the overworld shit was done, like, during Xenoblade 2, during its development, but like everything else, yeah, like the story, voice acting, and obviously some of the writing was done before Xenoblade 2 released, but... And all the rough stuff. Good luck, help me out. Espinus Ferris. I'm still streaming, right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just won't have the bot. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, no. Some of the story uh, tightens all before the Everything else was after it released. God fucking damn, this is a bop. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. No, don't set it as active quest. Go, go away. Let's just go broaden your options in battle. Alright, cool. Alright. So here's the deal. Ah, that's the community thing. Okay, so we need to go. System. Oh, that's cool. System, options. Okay, so I'm going to do the last story thing here, and then I'm going to go to bed, because i got work tomorrow, unfortunately. I'll probably be back streaming this again, this is like, addictive. same time, same place, uh, tomorrow evening, morning, however you want to call it, but Aren't we intrepid? I am definitely going to have to go to sleep. Aren't we intrepid? This is really cool. I like that garbage don't need to blade so weapons. I do like that too. I also found it kind of intriguing that the uh, that Laura just uses her fists and feet. She doesn't use any fucking weapons other than what she's got here, you know? So here we go. Alright, this is it, and then I'm going to bed. This place up too, huh? It's a shame. Oh no. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this. Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly. They're all yeah, dude, it's 4 a.m. Better go to sleep. <laughs> what? Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. She could have. She could have. Or she could have died. Torgoth Village. Alright, well. Alright, well. Yeah, I. Uh, I got five minutes. We got five fucking minutes. Let's go to the next story thing. See what's up there. I hope there's not a fight. More green barrels! Let's get these first.
It's all right. Excavation. You can't rush these things. Okay, apparently not. Never mind. What is this? Fresh veggies? Boy, I like me some veggies. I went to Papa John's today and under their vegetable toppings, they have pineapple listed. Pineapple is not a fucking vegetable. Now, let me tell you why. Because pineapples are just apples that look like pine cones. And apples are fruits. Did you know? Alright, this is gonna be it. Then definitely stopping the stream, getting the fuck to bed. So. Oh shit, who's that? Look, fresh graves over here. Oh, those are graves? Are you sure that, that doesn't look like a grave? It looks like a human. What's wrong? What are you smiling at? Oh no, you're not smiling. Should, it always looks like they're smiling when they're actually maybe bury him too? Huh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> bye bye, thanks for the history yes, lessons. Thanks. Of course, man. See you later. Have a good sleep. Is that her mom? <gasps> no, that's so sad. No. I made this plan myself. No, she kept it all this time. Damn. Heartbreaking shit, man. God, fuck. Thank you, Jin. I'm alright now, really. If you're trying to put on a brave face, then it's fine. It's fine. Hey, guys, do you think we could go back to the village again? Did you notice something? No, nothing like that. I was just thinking maybe we could bring back something to offer to the rest of the graves beside mo besides mothers. They were all burned to ashes. Is there really any point? Really, we didn't find anything last time. Alright, we can all look together. If it helps give you closure, then why not? God, that's fucking... That's depressing. Anyways, so... That's gonna be the end of this stream. Let me go ahead and save this real quick. That's going to be the end of this stream. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content and more streams from me. If you would like to see more streams from me, click the link in my bio. Or in the description. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but yes, if you would like more of this, please click the description link in my bio. <laughs> God fucking idiot. Alright, check the link in the description for my Twitch channel. Come check out my streams. Uh, I don't really have a schedule yet. I kind of like this one that we're doing, where it's like I start streaming at 12 to 4. I do like this schedule, actually. It's a lot. It works out a lot better because everyone's asleep. I don't have to worry about anybody being up. I don't have to worry about, you know, controlling my voice. I can just do whatever the fuck I want. And everything goes dandy. And all goes dandy. My name is Jerry Seinfeld. And you're watching Seinfeld. Anyways. <laughs> But now, if you're watching this VOD on YouTube, please click the link in the description. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment what you think, what I can do better to uh, better myself. I don't fucking know. Just comment, have a conversation with me about Xenoblade. Fuck, man. I love Xenoblade. But I love this game. I already saved it. I don't know why. I don't <laughs> All right. But we are done with this stream. 
ladies and gentlemen. So if you're watching the stream live, I appreciate you. Blade Master, thank you for coming by. It was nice talking to you. Did he follow me and I didn't even I didn't even see. Holy shit, I feel like a dick. Whatever. It'll be fine. We'll get him yet. Um but no, it, it, it's cool. Thank you for coming by to the stream. I notice I still have one viewer left, so thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Like I've been, I've been saying thank you because I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful to have people to talk to. Just, you know, people that watch me play video games, man. Like, shit. It's great. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. And I love it. I love it. Honestly, I love it. it it's, it's a fun time, and it's going to be even more fun times. Um... I guess tomorrow night. I'll do a stream tomorrow night. I'll try to stream maybe at like 11, some shit. I don't know. Uh, 11 to maybe, maybe 3. I don't know. Because I, I do need to get more bedtime. But I've been I've been running on this sentence for too long. Um, like I said, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you. Hit the sub. Hit the like. Hit it. Make a comment. Hit the link in my description. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tab underscore lay underscore salt. And thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, 